This is the free mission quilting tutorial for Root Pockets. This design is being sponsored by the Queen Size Supreme Slider, one of the best tools for free motion quilting on your home sewing machine. Learn why this tool helps so much and why I never quilt without it at daystyledesigns.com. Now let's get back to Root Pockets. This design is stitched by first starting with a small cluster of tree roots. Basically how this is stitched is first start with a short kind of curvy line and then you're going to stitch off that line with another short curvy line, backtrack and continue to branch off more short little curvy lines off of that main stem. You want to kind of think about the way tree roots looks as you're stitching this because it really helps to keep everything consistent and to keep the design in your mind. There is a lot of travel stitching involved with this, but it doesn't have to be perfect. If you stitch off the line, it's not the end of the world, but it is important to keep in mind how much your thread is going to build up in this area. And if it breaks or shreds, uh, try switching to a thinner, stronger thread and it might work better. The second step of the design is to simply return to your starting point, pivot, and echo with a leaf shape. You're just echoing around, coming to a point, and then going right back to that starting point. This is a pivoting design and so starting first with the tree roots then pivoting and echoing around it is how you expand the design to cover more of your quilting space. Of course if it's easier for you to be fill uh, a kind of a set shape with the tree roots you can start with the leaf shape first and then go inside and fill it with the tree roots second. It's entirely up to you. I think starting with the tree roots and then stitching the leaf shape makes the leaf a little bit more organic and freeform and creates kind of different looks of leaves on the surface of your quilt. However, it might actually be easier to stitch the leaf first then go inside with the tree roots. Here you can see I'm stitching another set of tree roots, just a short little cluster, and then stitching around, coming to a point, and returning to that starting point. Now I'm going to simply pivot and echo around this, building up my thread at that starting point so it adds to the design. The nice thing about pivoting designs is that they work in almost any area of your quilt. Of course, this particular design is going to look better if you give it enough space to really stand out and show off on the surface of your quilt. Don't try and squish this around something complicated. It probably won't look good. Here's what it looks like when we've expanded and worked into a, a couple more uh, pockets, tree root pockets. And you can see how I'm just kind of wiggling this one in, in between, and then surrounding it with some echo quilting. It really is a fun and easy design and a great design to practice traveling and echo quilting. Here's what it looks like whenever you finish Root Pockets. For over 300 videos on free motion quilting, including tree roots and many other pivoting designs, check out daystyledesigns.com.